I will be talking about wedding planning, uh, especially when it comes to uh, the big day and how couples actually talk to each other. It is a process which is very important, is difficult, but at the same time, it should be a lot more fun. You know, so I'll be talking about uh, communicating with each other, um, giving some maybe some decorating tips, also um, things to avoid, some pitfalls, and I'll be touching a little bit on traditions as well. I went to the Singapore Art Museum many, 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 many years ago, and that was when this had this huge hedge in front of it, and uh, they've actually removed that. I like the fact that it's now so much more open and, and it looks so beautiful. You can really see the building and its forest beauty. Um, then on the inside. I like the uh, the new glass modern effect that they've attached to the back of it. So um, that was the last time I think I actually went to a museum um, because I'm kind of busy lah. But uh, <laughs> it's nice to see how museums have become so funky, you know, in Singapore. And uh, what I really would like to see is, is the uh, the more modern artwork, you know, when things get really quirky. And uh, at the same time, I love history. So. Seeing how they've meshed the two together, it's quite unique. I like that. I like what the museums look like nowadays. Well, you can expect it to be all about love because that's the theme for, uh, for, for, for this particular section that I'll be involved with. Uh, but it's something which is, I think, close to everyone's heart. Everybody, you know, likes love. So whether it's like a place to have a, a, a wedding or a place to go and pator and go dating, well, I, I guess the museum is a, a good suggestion. Hang on a sec. <laughs> Explore Singapore. Let's have fun.